all right so welcome back again my name is jesse and in this wonderful and exciting tutorial we'll be trying to demo the monkey boss outbreak app so in some time ago we did an analysis on monkey boss outbreak so let's see a simple app that you have built concerning the monkey boss outbreak so this is a very simple app that you have built using streamlit and then the new concept of the multi pages so let's see how it is so if i come back to the app we have an option of seeing the data set so if i click on this make it bigger so you can see you can see that we have our data set here right which is using the newest format of the data set from streamlit in which you can click on it and then edit it as you can just click on it you can see all of these features this is coming from streamlit data frame with ag grid right and you can see the distribution of all the cities or of all the countries in the world right that has been reported of having monkey box. so you can see that there's high count in England if I span it here because that there is Spain having the highest followed by England and then there is Portugal and the rest right that's a very simple app S simple explanation if I come down here you can see the actual numbers right so this is the visual plots and then this is the other plot okay so that is one part of this if I go back here and I click on this you can see we have the different multi pages of the app we have the app we have the country we have the eda we have the map the travel map and the restaurants which we'll be exploring them later so if i come back here i can also click on the country and select the city i want to see the distribution of the outbreak per cities so you can see that madrid is having the highest followed by berlin wow i'm surprised <laughs> so you can see the distribution of it right as you can see from here hope you can see it well and you can also see the numerical representation i can also see the entire distribution per the status and you can see it here so if i go up the number of confirmed cases are uh, thousand four hundred which is about eighty one percent of the entire data set which is quite a lot right that means that it's going up and up right suspected is 96 and 94 and then discarded is 246 there's a simple plot for that very nice so that is one part of the app. if i come back to the sidebar i can go to the eda to see the eda aspect of the app and as you can see from here we have our world population that is actually 7.9 and it is moving up to 8 billion there's a number of confirmed cases worldwide which is 920 confirmed cases for the impost virus we also have the reported cases worldwide which is about 1.4 this percentage wise right of the entire population okay so i have to correct this it's not correct <laughs> okay so and this is the time series plot of the spread so it started around the first case around Macy's, and then you can see that it is going up and up right you can see that the cases are going up over time this is very nice using plotly behind the scene and then all the charts and you can also see the cases per day so this is a simple plot of the number of cases per day so as the days goes by you can see that the the disease is spreading more right there's a number of confirmed cases you can also see the same say the per the date confirmation and also per the number of the day of the week right so day of the week that we have reported cases you can see that most people the cases are reported mostly on thursday and then we also have some on wednesday right so that is very interesting so that's a simple plot for it and then this is another plot which yeah it was unable to plot well right but you get a point okay so let's move from here to, from the eda to the maps right so if i go to the map session i can see the actual map of the outbreak in turn view so let's open it here and then we explore it in case you have any question or contribution you can put inside the comment section below and then maybe sometime we will spend some time and build it up from scratch right okay so is it so you can see from here this is the top countries with reported cases and then if i come down here we can see a very nice plot right so this is using pi deck behind the scene you can see the heat map so the hotter the color the more it is there so you can see that there is some of the disease in united kingdom there is some in germany there's some in france in spain in portugal if i go up you can see that there's also some in canada yeah canada right so there's a very 
simple closing right there. You can change it in case you don't want to see it in a heat map. You can come back to the sidebar, then you can just change it right. So, this is just for the top 15 countries. So, let's change it to a scatter plot. If I change it to a scatter plot, let's go to a scatter plot. Right. So if I come back here, you can see that we have the scatter plot here. So let's make it instead of let's make it May 30. Select top select number of top countries that have been affected. And you can see that we have our result here, right? So looking at the map here, you can see some a little bit differences. You can see that we have United Kingdom. If I click on it, you can see the number of cases. If I go back to Spain, if I go to Portugal, if I go to France, yeah, if I go to Germany. Let me Germany 66 cases, Belgium has some cases, that is Netherlands, and then we also have for France, right? So this is very interesting. Some of them are not showing because they're not part of the top countries. That's based on the data set. And you can see that there is none in Africa here. The reason there is none in Africa is not because there is none in Africa, but because the data set has not there have not been any reported cases being sent to the database, right? From Africa. That is the reason. It's not that there's none in Africa. And you see there's Canada here. And then also time in United States. If I switch the plot from scatter to heat map, you can see that there's also some in the United States. So we switch in. Yeah, you can see that there is some here, and there is also some here in Canada, right? That is one of them. Now let's move on from here. Let's make it 40 and let's see whether we get some for United States. Yeah. Mm, we don't get yeah so there is a simple plot of that right very nice there's also another plot i was trying to work on which was on the route if i go to the route you can see where the disease is coming from right so you can see from here this is something i was trying to work on it's taking some time but because of the coordinates i don't the, the data set doesn't have concrete uh route map right so i was trying to figure out how to do that but you can see from here the idea right where it is going and where it's coming from right very simple now if i go back to the travel map that is where i was trying to implement it maybe in the future i'll work on it if i have time <laughs> okay so if i come back to the travel map here i see that if i pick england speak pick a specific country england and then i go to the route you can see where it is coming from right so we have from the just you have the country the travel history country right that is where the person that you keep the person traveled where it is so if you, if i come to this map you can see the map so England has been confirmed and then you can see that it is having an act is an act chart using Pydeck. The red one means that that is where it is that is the source and this is the target right you can see the two different colors I don't know that you can see it this coming from here see there is none in Nigeria right and then to England right so Nigeria to England that is how it is but that is something I'm working on yeah but it's giving me a lot of errors but yeah that is something Okay, so that is a very simple app we have built from scratch, right? So if I go back to country, there's also one for a specific country, which I picked out and you can see that from this country, you can see this is a city distribution, right? For that particular country, you, have very, you can see the country, yeah, if you know the countries of the world. And it's very common here, yeah, and then there's a plot that shows which country is that. Right? So maybe in the future, I'll work on each specific country if the data set permits. That is something very simple. So thank you for watching the tutorial. In case you have any question or contribution, you can put it in the comments below. And let me know if you want us to build it from scratch, right? This is just a demo of it. So thank you. And then check the links below for some interesting materials. And see you another time. Stay blessed. Bye.